All water gauges and stations are being maintained to monitor the current weather conditions, Chief Meteorological Officer Dr. Garvin Cummins told the newsroom. Dr. Cummins said the rainy season can persist over the next couple of months and urged residents to take all necessary precaution during this time. So, so the primary rainy season in Guyana typically lasts from mid to the end of April up until the end of July or down to the middle of August. We are expecting that this year would be no different. In a statement released by the Office of the Prime Minister, Dr. Cummins submitted in his report that rainfall over the last few days has been excessive and indicated that Region 5 had the most rainfall, 5 inches within 24 hours. Updates on the weather are available on the services website www.hydromet.gov.gy. We provide the daily forecast as well as the seasonal outlook. Additionally, persons can call the National Weather Watch Center at 261-3065-261-2260 uh, and get in direct contact with our weather forecasters. Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips urged residents in flood-affected areas and other citizens to properly dispose of their garbage to mitigate against flooding. The Prime Minister, who heads the National Task Force on Flooding, held a meeting on Monday evening to assess the current flooding situation. The task force is working through the Civil Defense Commission, CDC, the Ministry of Agriculture via the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, the Hydromet Service, the Ministry of Housing and Water, and the Guyana Defense Force. Prime Minister Phillips indicated that while pumps are being installed and excavators are cleaning waterways, Residents must do their part to ensure that they are prepared for flood impacts. In Region 5, about 70% of the water receded due to consistent drainage and cleaning operations, while in Region 2, the dredging of a few rivers, including the Pomeroon River, is high on the agenda to alleviate future flooding. Meanwhile, in Region 9, although the water level is still rising, the team on the ground has been working around the clock to ensure that people get the needed help. Three shelters were established in the region and food supplies will be distributed via the CDC. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.